Hello everyone, this is Julian Wang. I'm a sixth year PhD student working with uh, Brad, Matt, and Andy. I know 2020 has been a very difficult year for everyone, and it is particularly so for me. I actually ended up in the hospital for a couple of days at the end of uh, last year. So my 2020 started with a lot of medications. So I urge you, my fellow colleagues, to take care of yourself, both mentally and physically. It is the number one priority for you and for your family. Anyway, uh, academically, I continue pursuing my interest in Asian carbon cycle perturbations during those transitional events in Earth's history. I apply stable calcium and strontium isotopes in carbonate system to gain insight on the change of ocean chemistry, especially seawater carbonate system. Uh, du uh, during and after the CO2 uh, emissions, with the support and guidance from my uh, advisors, Brad and Andy, I was able to publish six research articles and one book chapter in the, in the past year. Among various projects, I would like to highlight uh, our new findings on the OAE1A, Cretaceous OAE1A project. Uh, we, we measured the stable calcium and strontium isotopes of carbonate sediments from an IODP core drilled in mid-Pacific Ocean and uh, discovered a very good correlation between them, yielding a, yielding a kinetic slope. Uh, this finding indicated that variable mass-dependent fractionation, or so-called kinetic effect, dominates the calcium and strontium isotope variation. The calciferin organisms uh, likely experienced environmental stresses during that time, and reduced their precipitation rate uh, because of uh, the emplacement of Ampang Java Plateau. Our study also indicated that the coupling of calcium and strontium isotope can help us discriminate primary signal from secondary overprintings.